Hi, so this video is going to be how to make a 3D projection, a Z stack projection, in, uh, using the image J. Uh, as we have uh, take acquired um, images in the Confocal, uh, usually they come like uh, like in, a, in an export uh, folder like this. And once you open, you're going to have uh, all the different channels of the images. So here we have uh, the RGB um, Tritzy, just red, the RGB DAPI in blue, and the uh, RGB that it has both channels merged. What are we going to do? I'm going to show how to do the Z stack using the image J. So you go here in File at image J and import image sequence in here you need to find um, the image that you are that you want to work with so that one is in here and is this one one a so let's open this one for example only rgb um, Oh, it's, um, only RGB DAPI, for example. And uh, to separate the, this RGB DAPI to the other ones, like only RGB or an RGB um, TTC, we need to write here that the files n should con this file's name should contain the word DAPI. Okay, you click OK. Is creating our image. It's going to be with 13 um, images. We can check here that we have uh, 13 images of each. See this number here. It's almost done, and then when it's done, it's going to pop up like this. And here we have our Z stack of this image. We can save it as um, TIFF. If you save like this, you're going to save the Z stack, DAPI. And you can also save this uh, as a projection. Uh, to have a projection of this image, you need to go to image stacks z project uh, and then in this case we have 13 slices and you can project the mac the maximum intensity average intensity minimum intensity some slice standard deviation and median so for example the maximum intensity is going to have a maximum intensity of, of all the 13 slices and then this is just one plain image, like package, right? And you can also save this as, save as TIFF. And then in this case, now is a maximum Z stack DAPI. Okay? Thank you. Um, to use uh, the, the image that is going to be used in the, um, uh, Stellar Investigator to count and also to reconstruct in the Neurolusta is this one, the Z stack, the 3D image. So this is the image that we needed to use to count the cells in the neuro in the Stellar Investigator and also to um, reconstruct the cells in the Neurolusta.